Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex or Nuznos here, and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about some items that have gone up in price massively with the release of Zamrock, and how you can take advantage of these new methods and make money off of these items. So with some of these methods, you can make over 40 million GP per hour. If you want more money making guides and tips on how to progress your account, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this, and like the video as well if it helps you out, and let's get into it. Now, now before this, I want to say these methods GP per hour might change. The items may go down in price over time. So make sure, of course, you check the GE prices before you commit to doing any of these methods. I can't predict how long these will stay relevant or good. So I'll leave a pinned comment if these end up crashing or don't make as much money anymore. So the first thing we're going to talk about is an item that you can try to go and get every day. This is more of a daily money maker that has gotten even better, and that is making penance powder. Now penance powder has actually gone up a lot in price recently. It was around 700k each for a while, but recently it got to almost over 1.2 million GP for each penance powder. So to make penance powder, you need to go to Hetz Oasis and you need a few requirements. So you first need to have the Light Within quest done for the Rapid Growth spell. This is very important, as well as 88 magic and 90 farming. Now having the Master's Farmer outfit as well, like I did, is nice too, and the the Dundee Crocodile Shop for Hunter and Hetz Oasis has various different upgrades available for Hunter after you catch a bunch of scarabs. So if you want to do this method every day or more often, it's recommended that you have these unlocked, especially the double loot chance, which unlocks at 500 catches, and the flower saving chance at 1,000 catches. So if you plan on doing this, make sure you go and do a little bit of Hunter to get those unlocked as well. So basically, there are four flower patches that are scattered around Hetz Oasis. Each flower patch has a chance to give you golden roses when you harvest. So these golden roses can be used to catch the little scarabs and make penance powder essentially. So using compost on a patch around here before you harvest it increases your chance at golden roses. So make sure you're using compost and then use your rapid grow spell on each of the patches and harvest it. Now you can do this twice for each patch. So you can harvest eight patches in total and it's all RNG but you should end up getting golden roses most of your runs. Now once you get the golden roses, depending how lucky you are and how many you get, you want to go over to the hunting area and build the flower basket if you haven't already. Now put your roses in the basket and catch the golden scarabs that come out. Of course if you have the upgrades that I talked about earlier, you have a chance to double your loot or save a golden rose, which is essentially a free penance powder, which is like a free 1.2 mil if that happens, which is why those are so important. Now once you catch the scarabs, you'll get these shells. Uh, they go on the floor, so make sure you pick them up. Click the shells and turn them into penance powder. And there you go. You made some money if you got the golden roses, and it's a nice daily activity that you can do each day to make some really decent money, especially now that they've gone up in price by like 40%. So next is an item that has increased a ton over the last week or two because of Zamrock, and that is making Hellhound Pouch with Ancient Summoning. Now to do this, you need to first have the Dag and Buy Mystery completed from Archaeology. I'll link that in the description. You also need level 45 Summoning and Slayer, a good amount of starting cash, maybe like 20-30 mil, and an Old Act Coil will also speed this up too. You will also need to be using Blue Charms for this, so if you're not, you know, a good Summoning level or you really value your Blue Charms, you might not want to do this, but if you have a lot of extra like I do, then you just want to use those Blue Charms. So so first you need to actually make a binding contracts. Making binding contracts is what we'll use to kill hellhounds and get these pouches. So to do this you need to buy Blood of Orcus and Hellfire Metal. You'll need two of each for each binding contract and you'll also need spirit shards, blue charms, and empty pouches. Now these binding contracts are going to end up costing you about 42k to make each one. I decided to spend a little extra money and I was making them in Taverly at the obelisk and I was selling my supplies to the shop and buying them back so I never had to bank and could make them very quickly. You will spend an extra about 1k GP per pouch which to me is definitely worth it and you may lose a few supplies from them destocking from the 
shop, but you're not gonna lose that much more money and it's way faster, so that's personally how I would do it. Now on screen, you can see my inventory and my gear setup. Uh, you can also run these like normal at any other obelisk, but of course, I like the Taverly method moorage much, much faster, and it doesn't cost that much extra. Now I ended up spending around 12.5 million GP to make 300 contracts, and it took me eight minutes to do this. Now after you have all your binding contracts, this is when you're going to kill hellhounds and make them into hellhound pouches. For each hellhound you kill, you'll receive a hellhound pouch in your inventory, which is worth almost 100k. Now the nice thing here is hellhound patches, like I said, have risen massively, so instead of 65k each, they are now almost 100k each, because almost everyone is using them at Zamrock, they're a great familiar there. Um, so people are using them a lot and buying them, so they seem to sell really well. Ancient Summoning as a moneymaker was always decent money, but was kind of annoying and slow for me before because each monster you kill are usually high level like rip or demons and they take a while to kill but hellhounds are super fast and very easy to kill you can essentially just afk you just want to bring your best aoe melee setup have a revolution bar a split tooth dragon necklace with bone crusher will keep your prayer up and then an old act coil speeds things up a lot you go to the taverly hellhound dungeon set up your old act coil where i did turn on revolution and just afk now you need to bring magic note paper with you uh, because when your inventory it'll fill up with pouches, the hellhound pouches, and you'll want to note them and then continue killing the hellhounds until your inventory fills up again and note the pouches again. It took me about 14 minutes to kill 300 hellhounds while essentially AFK. So here are the stats from this method. I spent 8 minutes making the 300 binding contracts and then I spent 14 minutes killing the hellhounds to make 300 total hellhound pouches. This took me a total of 22 minutes making the contracts and killing the hellhounds and it cost me 12.5 mil. I then sold the pouches instantly for 28.2 mil and made a profit of 15.7 mil in 22 minutes, which comes out to 42 mil GP per hour. And for such a chill method, this is honestly crazy. Make sure you take advantage of this method while the pouches are still being used a lot at Zamrock since Zamrock has just been released. A lot of people are camping it, pushing in rage. So I'm sure the demand will still be there for a while since everyone is, you know, doing that boss. Uh, but this is great money and it's not too hard to do either. So I was really surprised with this method. I thought about it after I saw the Hellhound go up so much in price, decided to test it, and it seems really, really strong. Now these next methods are gonna be little short honorable mentions. So the first one that I wanna talk about is Corporal Beast. Now, since Sammy was released, the Spirit Shields are getting a lot more play in PVM. They're being used a lot because they're very, very good at Zamrock, especially if you perk them out with Absorbative or Lucky perks. They're really, really good for tanking that big damage from like the bombs and things like that. So really, really nice. So essentially they've gone up a lot in price. So I bought an Elijah and Spirit Shield when Zamri was released and it cost me like 50 mil, which is like double the GE price. And then as you can see, Arcane Spirit Shields haven't been buying for me for like 70 mil. So while Spirit Shields are rare drops from Corp, uh, it does raise the GP you're gonna make from Corporal Beast. It's not gonna raise it to something crazy, but if you wanna complete the Corp log or you've been thinking about going and doing corp which is decent money in itself uh, now would be a really good time to do it because if you get any of these spirit shields especially the elijah or arcane uh, it's going to be some really really decent money and more than you would have gotten initially so i did make an afk corporal beast guide so i'll leave that in the description if you want to check it out it's in my afk money making guide so if you want to look to afk corp i'll leave that for you there but i thought i would definitely mention this in this video because i did notice they went up a lot now this last thing is is just an honorable mention. It's not really a money-making method, but if you're somebody who does a lot of Arch Glacier and has a lot of spare Dark Nylas, then this could make you some decent money. So recently I discovered that the Dark Ice Sliver, which is the lower tiered melee weapon, sells for a lot more than GE price. So it's been selling for over 40 million GP. And to make this, it costs you around 8 million supplies plus five Dark Nylas. So you can make these uh, with Glorious Bars two Glorious Bars and 10 Blackstone Hearts and then five Dark Nylas. And they were selling for me for 48 million GP each, which is more than double uh, the GE price. So I ended up making about seven of them and they sold within like 30 minutes, which if you minus the supply cost and 
Divide that by the Dark Nylas it takes, you're making about 8 million GP per Dark Nyla. So if you have a lot of spare Dark Nylas, now may be the time to use a few. Of course, if people see this, more people are going to be making these, but they seem to be in demand. So make sure you check the price before you use your Dark Nylas. And I find it always good to keep 10 Dark Nylas no matter what. So if I do get that core drop, haha, <laughs> what a big joke, actually get a core drop. No, but seriously, if I do get a core drop, um, then I have it to make the tier 95 so i would always recommend keeping around 10 dark nylas but if this these prices still remain high you may want to look into making some of these and getting some profit so yeah those were the four items that really caught my eye that went up in price a lot recently so this video is obviously how to take advantage and make a little bit of money off these hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did of course leave a like and i'll be making some more videos soon so i'll see you all in the next one